What's going on guys? My name is Nate Sanders and I make video games. So a little while ago I put out a video that said, hey, ask me shit. And today I'm finally getting around to doing so. So I gathered some of the questions and I'm going to try my best to, uh, to answer them right now. So sit back and get comfortable and this might turn into uh, an ASMR video. I'm not sure yet. IGS ASMR 2019. The first question I have is any updates in the company and future development? That is by El Pinguino Naran Naranja. Uh, as far as the, I'm gonna take this question as you mean development, like programming. As far as because you, you mentioned future development of the company, that could be like I develop for the company, but also the company has its own like business developments. And to answer that question, if you're gonna approach it from that angle, is yes. I just ramble for like two minutes, so I'm going to say the short answer to that question is yes. Um, Midnight Evil is coming to Switch, and there will be other Switch titles coming soon um, in the Slaughter Me Street family. And um, yeah, so that. Next question, my favorite game. And this is from Glitched Lizard. Glitched Lizard is actually a close friend of mine. He does. He's been handling all of my modeling for the last year and a half now. Or something. Um, he did the airplanes. He's been working on some of the new Slaughter Me Street stuff, and he's just a fantastic, fantastic modeler. Um, to answer that question, my favorite game though, um, hmm, that's a tough one. I'm pretty attached to a few games from my youth. I'd have to say that. Um, honestly, <laughs> this is gonna be weird because I make horror games for the company, but Harvest Moon, the Harvest Moon series. Um, more specifically, the um, Harvest Moon 64 is a really, really nice game. Really like that game. Sunk a lot of hours into that. And then I guess a close second to that would probably be Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, next question. Have you ever played Dead by Daylight? If so, which puppet from SMS would you like to become a new killer if there was a chance? And this is by Wanna Play. Um, I've never played Dead by Daylight. Um, I'll have to check it out and get back to you. Next question. Is there gonna be a Midnight Evil Retro 2? Is SMS 3 gonna be the last one in the series? This is by Pork Griff Studio. So that was actually two questions. I would love to do something else with Midnight Evil. Um, as far as doing a retro Midnight Evil, or so your question is Midnight Evil Retro 2, so that would suggest that I already made a Retro 1. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely love to do something with Midnight Evil again. I mean, I'm going to, eventually. Um, and then if, is SMS 3 going to be the last one in the series? Um, for now, in the main storyline, yeah, I would say definitely yes. Um, that doesn't mean I'm not going to make a series... I don't know about like any of the specific SMS game characters because I think that would be really fun and I think people might enjoy that and it would let me explore more avenues of development and stuff like that. Uh, next question, why have you never used Patreon and are you ever going to trust Kickstarter or never and I'm not trying to sound mean, just a question. This is from Mike F. Um, I'm not really sure I follow your question. I mean, I think I get the gist of what you're asking me. I actually do have a Patreon. Um, here's the link to it. I've never really advertised the Patreon because I, <laughs> I've never really pushed the Patreon. It's, it's not really finished yet. I'm, I'm not really sure what I would be providing people. So, um... I also just don't really like asking for people to give me money. You guys are already buying my games, so... Um, yeah, I've used Kickstarter a few times in the past, but never... I never really got into, like, the whole science of Kickstarter. It's not like it kind of used to be a long time ago. Um, you really have to, like... Running a Kickstarter is, like, a full-time job, so... I, I don't believe I'll be using Kickstarter any anytime soon. Or ever, again. Uh, next question. Would you rather invite Grant McDonald on your Discord server because he has a Discord account for sure? That doesn't make any sense at all. That is from Bretster. <laughs> all right, no, I, so I see what's going on here. So Bretster is a is an avid member on the Impulse Game Studios Discord server, which you should 100% check out. Link is in the description. So that's pr pretty much where we all hang out a lot, and you can reach 
You can reach other fans. You can reach me. You can reach other IGS people that help with the company. Um, but yeah, this question is an inside joke with with Bretster. Um, all I can really say is you should look up Grant McDonald, and I highly suggest Ram Ranch. Uh, next question: Whatever happened to Rachel? First contact. This is by Deddy Fazpool. Um, the short answer is it's on pause. The long answer is um, I came up with the concept a while ago. Uh, I really liked how it was feeling and, and how it was working and what like how it was unfolding as I was developing it. But I was working on it during a time where I really didn't have time to work on a big project, and it was quickly becoming a big project. And um, I basically. I didn't pull the plug on it, but I was like, I don't want to rush this one. So Rachel first contact while it's not in development currently, um, I still have all the files. It's still something that I'm going to finish eventually, but just it's literally just boils down to a matter of time. Thanks for the question. Uh, next question. Garbanzo is the question, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, and that's by Garbanzo Bean. Uh, I picked this question because this guy shows up a lot in my comment section and just says garbanzo, and I really have no idea what that means. Um, I think it's funny, and I, I, I like it as much as I can every time it, every time it pops up. <laughs> uh, next question. Is there more SMS Retro coming soon? This is by Douglas Droid 19 or Douglas Droid 991 and the answer to that is definitely. Um, I loved working on retro. I love the I love pixel games in general, um, and they're just fun to make. They're tiny little games that I can crank out in like a couple months, um, and you guys really like them. Actually, speaking of retro, I'm currently in the process of working on a more revamped retro. It's its, its own game in itself. Um, it's 3D, and um, I'm planning on dropping that soon, and I haven't really teased it at all outside of Discord, which, by the way, is another reason you should come to the Discord channel, just saying. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, that's a game that I'm really excited about. And final question, uh, hello, Mr. Sanders, why do you have such a big butt? And that's from Zipper Fairy. Uh, to answer that question, um, I guess just like how Morgan Freeman gets a freckle every time he tells a story... Um, every time I write a line of code, my butt expands. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, leave it a like. If you're not subscribed already, please feel free to subscribe. I'll leave the link to the Discord in the description. You should check it out. Lots of fun stuff going on on the Discord, especially if you want to see stuff like the new retro coming out. I, every now and then I'll pop on and I'll leak some stuff to Discord members only. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.